start with some breaking news on this Tuesday. So Cherise Stinson pled guilty in a Pinellas County courthouse to the murder of her son, two-year-old Jordan Beliveau. Jordan died in September of 2018. At the time, Cherise Stinson was 21. Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty is at the courthouse with the very latest. This just happened, Christine. It did within the last hour or two, and we were just feet away from Cherie Stinson in the courtroom. It was a very emotional morning. Both her, her mother, and the Beliveau family all seen crying in the courtroom. This morning, Stinson entered a disposition agreement. The judgment moved her from a first degree murder charge down to second degree. She's still facing charges for a false report to a law enforcement officer. In 2018, Stinson claimed a man attacked her, kidnapped her son, prompting a three day Amber Alert search. Stinson later admitted to hitting the boy, causing his head to hit a wall. An autopsy showed Jordan died from blunt force trauma. Stinson left Jordan's body in a wooded area near the Largo Sports Complex. Stinson spoke out in court today, saying she's a changed woman. For a while, I was so angry and bitter before I came to jail. And now I'm free mentally. I may not be free physically, but I want my mom to know that I am free mentally. I am not held in bondage anymore, and that is the greatest gift that God has given me, and I thank my son for that. Again, Stinson thanking her son, saying she needed this to change. Stinson has served two years of her 50-year sentence, so she has 48 years left. Coming up tonight, what Stinson's mother was pleading for from the judge. Reporting live at the Pinellas County Courthouse, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.